I had recorded it and sent it to uh, Pastor Ann so she could get it to Pastor. I appreciate everybody that checked up on me. <laughs> but, uh, what I'm finna say, uh, make sure everybody, what I'm about to say might scare a couple people. Yeah, I'm good. Everything's straight. You know. I only want to tell my two. Okay. You know, I'm scared. You're scared for what? Because it's going to help somebody else. Man, it's crazy. Mm. <laughs> well, I can't even tell it, Mom, because I don't know. Some telling me I should tell it, but I don't know. Okay. Y'all, my dad ain't gonna understand. They don't understand, bro. Like, I died twice. And, and when I died, I just thank God, though, for real. Because if it weren't for him, I wouldn't even be here right now. And, y'all, when I say heaven and hell is real, like, I ain't even saying it to be crazy. Like, heaven and hell is for real. Like, I died twice. 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 Man, well, I died twice. Man, I died twice, y'all. Twice. And the crazy part is, I went to hell. Like heaven and hell is for real. Like for real. Like I don't know, ma. Man, bro, I died twice, bro. Twice. Like, bro, bro, I went to hell, bro. Like, I'm real dealing hell. Me talking to the devil, like, like, heaven and hell is for real, bro. It ain't weird, like, people seeing, like, when I died, bro, like, I saw the afterlife, like. My family scared, bro. Like, I saw the like me and like the devil literally talking, talking to me, bro. Like, now, like now, look, I can't drive for six months. I can't work. All I'm trying to say is, bro, like, get right with God, bro. Like, before it's too late. You're right with God, bro. I can't even tell you, my own. Hey, tell them. It's, I'm telling you, it's going. It's, it's, it's not. It's not only going to benefit you. It's going to bring somebody else to the knowledge of Jesus Christ because the Bible said that you overcome by your. You overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of your testimony. So it's okay to cry. It's like, okay. Bro, like, they don't understand. Like, I saw, like, 
bro. The devil really there talking to me, bro. Like, I'm in hell. People screaming. People scared. If it wasn't for God telling me it wasn't my time, bro, I would not be on live today. I would not be. If it wasn't for God, bro, I promise. Bro, I promise, like. Tell them about, um, tell them about what, what you've seen. Man, that's too deep, bro. You got to give it. You got to give it. Like, bro, because it's perks, be perks, all that, bro, just stay off of it, like. died twice y'all know how hard it is but like i i died twice my mama scared my cousin see my little brother and i'm scared and 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 for, for my home with that calling me my home but ain't no one of them came up here and checked on me none of that i'm laying in my death bed the devil literally riding me in my sleep Bro, it ain't about, like, bro, whatever y'all going through, bro, like, just, I don't know, bro. All I'm saying is, bro, get right with God before it's too late, bro. Tell them about what you're saying. Them folks don't even, them, them yeah. folks don't even believe in hell, bro. Matter, heaven or don't, hell. It don't matter if they believe Like, what God. I seen, bro, like, like, bro, it's, bro, like, I'm, Probably, it's probably gonna traumatize me for the rest of my life, bro. I'm, I'm real dead laying on my deathbed. Tell me what you saw, Jack. Well, you ain't in your deathbed no more. I know, but it's like, man. Tell me what you saw as, as far as, you know, the sins, breaking the commandments. Like, bro, whatever y'all out here doing, like, bro, this stuff is for real, bro. Heaven and hell is for real. Heaven and hell is for real, bro. Like, I don't even look the same, bro. Look at me. Bro, look at me, bro. My bag, like, I don't even look the same. I don't have an appetite. I can't. I can't, bro, because they, they, they ain't listening. Just tell, how you know they not listening? You got people on your live. You talking about, bro, this might give their testimony. Because it, 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 I don't know. It moved me in a different way, too. Right. It moves me in a different way. You know, you don't know why God allowed you to even, he could have, he could have allowed you to visit down there so you can come back to give the testimony to warn the people because that's exactly what it is. It is a warning. Like and I it promise, could be a bro. warning to the young I promise, people. bro. I was so scared, bro. I'm real deal face to face with the devil himself. The devil, bro. And he ain't like it ain't none of that uh how my how would like he don't like he's a real human being, like I'm real deal. The, de the devil calling me his son, bro. Yeah. Because, because young people, one thing about it, the Bible says that if you're not serving God, then you serving the devil. So whatever commandments that, whatever commandment that you break in the Bible, um, the enemy is laughing at us. Like real you know, deal, when we bro, do like, things outside of the will of God, he is literally laughing at, laughing at us, you know. And the things that Joshua seen in the bro, story I, the, he told the, me the, yesterday. The, the stuff that I seen, bro, like, it's, it's real, bro. It's everything in the, in the Bible. Bible everything that I Bible. seen, bro, was in the Bible. It was unfolding. Like, I, as I'm in hell, bro, I see people in the fire crying. Clean, like, asking for forgiveness, bro. And it was too late. And it was, too, it was late. too late for them. Bro, I'm in hell. Having conversations with the devil, bro. I died twice. That's what I'm saying. Tell them about what you've seen. Tell them about what you've seen. 
Lord saved you. Twice. I had, my, how many seasons I had? Uh, it was quite a few. Like six or seven? Yeah. And the only lady beside me right now is my mama. Yeah, on, on, um, I don't want to get in your line, but on yesterday, when we made it here, this is the second day. Well, today is the third day, but yesterday was the second day that we had came here. So when we got here, Joshua was seasoned. And at that point, I was like, I was frustrated. I was like, Lord, what is going on? What is it? But the night before, like I had got that he had like a spirit of death on him. And young people, what well, well, you all have to remember, even hanging around the wrong people can cause those spirits to, to transpire on you. So you got to be careful on who you even hang around with. But yesterday, as me and my, my mother-in-law, as we was praying for Joshua and during the time that I was giving him my phone to read Romans 10, to read Romans 10 because that is the, the salvation, the salvation prayer where you have to confess um, that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. So as I was giving, as he was holding my phone, he could not move at all. Like this it is was like, real. It was like the enemy was trying to keep him from going there, actually giving his life over to God, but remind you, Josh has already been baptized. He he has already, and, you know. And this is not like I don't like know that. nothing. I don't I don't read the yeah, Bible. Yeah, he don't read I don't the know Bible or about anything. That, bro. Like, but, like them drugs. Like I can't smoke. I can't do none of that. My speech, my. Mm. But like on yesterday, as he was about to read the scriptures, he could not move. It was like. The enemy just attacked at him instantly and was trying to take him. So, as my um, as my mother in law was praying for him, I had held the phone up to his ear, so so the enemy, that spirit that was on here, can hear the word of God. So as I as she was uh, praying, speaking the word over him, and I was also praying myself. This spirit came up off of Joshua. And as the spirit came up off of Joshua, the spirit of death came up off of him. He cried. And when I tell y'all young people, it, it was so for real. I never, even though other people I have took through deliverance or helped them in a, in a different kind of way, but I never right. expected it to be my own child where I had to literally experience something like this. But... Um, my advice, you know, if you don't know the Lord, right, and like then, if real. you're sitting here procrastinating on whether you believe or not, the best thing for you to do is bow on your knees, ask the Lord, first you repent, because the Bible said, repent ye before the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You go there, you repent. If you're living with your father or your mother and they don't believe, hey, young people, y'all are adults now, and you're going to be accountable for yourself, like, for your own soul, because the thing Joshua told us on yesterday, like, I mean, my spirit was moved, and it was like, you know, especially about the end time prophecy, the things that's about to happen on the earth, all this stuff like, he bro, was I telling saw, yesterday is bro, in the I book of Revelation. Like, bro, I saw everything, everything. Like, bro, this is not a game. I had six, what was it, like six or seven? Like, this is my fourth, my fourth day in the hospital. I can't work, I can't drive, I barely got an appetite. My mama really gotta watch my back. I don't know when I might have another, another episode. I gotta take 100 milligram pills, what, every two well, days? Yeah, but we're, we're not gonna even believe that you're gonna be on this medicine because I'm going to say this, if, when a spirit is in operation, it causes sickness in the body. So I believe that spirit was actually causing Josh to uh, have those seizures. And, and another like, thing... I want, and I, I want to tell y'all the story, but I can't because Josh, my words, like, my words well, get mixed say, up. I'm and it ain't even going to explain to y'all. Well, right. I'm going I'm to say what you told me. You just butt in and put in what you remember. 
you just put it in your mouth. But as Josh, he said, as he was in hell, he came face to face with the devil. Oh, and I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, where are you going? Because I don't want to give your testimony. It's yours. I gotta use it. I will go get it. But yeah, like I was saying, young people, y'all get your hearts right, get your minds right, and and come to the knowledge of who Jesus Christ really is and what he has done, not only for me, not only for Joshua, but for this world, because it's so serious. Because like I said, everybody else that I have helped and went there and, you know, encouraged, maybe did deliverance, I never expected for it to be my son. But like I said, we can I, I would not question God as to why because I am not him now. I would not question him as to, you know, you know, why you know, why my child but you know, I know Josh had made some tremendous changes in his life to where he wasn't the Joshua that I raised. And the Bible says that, and Josh, you quoted this scripture yesterday too, so I don't even know if you remember me telling you this scripture once before. But the Bible says that the wages of sin is death, and the gift of God is eternal life. And so, you know, even though God gives us that free will, and that free will, we have to choose to do what's right. That's just like being in this earth, dealing with police officers and the laws that the government make we have a choice and in that choice we're supposed to do what's right and that and that's how we are supposed to abide by the laws of god so um josh testimony you know it it is scary he he have always had those crazy don't now i'm not gonna say crazy but weird dreams where he have had encounters with god and stuff like that. So, you know, this this here is really nothing new to me, but with him prophesying about what's about to happen some crazy. on this earth, I mean, it, it, it's really scary. It, it gets scary. But we have to know that this is not our home. This is, this is a temporary place um, that we abide in. So nothing here in this earth isn't is is eternal. So you know, young people, you you just have to, you know, find and, and bro, that place. And, and, and your friends like, I gotta call you. I'm mean, I'm laying in the dead bed. My friend calling me about a pot. My day one friend, he ain't checking on for me or nothing. He calling me about a pot. I'm literally crying, bro. Like, I'm my body. It's like I have no weight on my body. I can't do the stuff I used used to do. I can't even say what I want to say because I know my word. I know my word. It's okay. Just get it because I'll I be excited to hear it over and over. I don't want to tell it because it's not mine. It's yours. Mine was free. Just get right with God. That's all I'm trying to say. Tell them what was down there. Like hell, and then in hell, bro, it's it's different. Like it's it is a fit of it's a fit. See, like stuff. I can't see mom. My words. Go ahead, baby, I, go can't, ahead. I can't. I can't talk right. Okay, I'm gonna help. Like, like in hell, like in hell, bro. When I went, it was, it was, it was, it was different sections. Like, it was different sections. It was different sections. Like, it was, you had the section of guilt. You had the section of adultery. You had the sections of murder. And you had, what else was it? You, you can remember all of it. Yeah, I can't remember. remember saying adultery. Remember all, like. But all of it was pertaining to the Ten Commandments. Yeah, the Ten Commandments, like... That was broken. That was, yeah, what my mama saying. But on, like, as I was dying there, bro, like, the devil literally jumped from his kingdom in his wings. Like, I saw the devil wings. And his face, it ain't no, like, no, he don't have horns. Like, he's a regular person, bro. Like, and he was, ta- as he was talking to me, he was like, he, he, what did he say? He said, my son. Yeah, it was like he was trying to welcome Yeah, he you. was welcoming me. Like, he was saying, like, my son. 
And after that, uh, all I heard was a voice saying, it's not your time yet. That's when I woke back up. Like the devil really wanted me in his in his mm-hmm. in his kingdom, like yeah. Like, bro, this stuff is scary, bro. Like, and so many people was burning. Like every time, like he had his chosen people, where like the devil he'll be like, um, he stand with me, like, and he's gonna stand a fire. Like he was as he was as he was in the uh, as he was uh, talking to me, he was kicking people into the fire and laughing, like, like. Mm-hmm. He's such a, like, and then his voice is beautiful, like, it's not what people tell y'all, like, the devil is. Like, I'm literally sitting face to face with the devil. Yeah, he he appeared to seem as a clever person. You know, you might hear, you might feel like you, say, for instance, that you may be in a situation where you have to make a choice. And you know that you, know that you feel that you should do the right thing. And then you have something on the other side of you not go ahead on and do it because that's what he he manipulates and he deceives us in every way possible to keep us from uh living in the righteousness uh, of god but uh um, go then, ahead josh and then again like after my second then again after my uh my, like my body left my soul again for the second time and then and as the second time that's when i saw uh four horsemen and like that was in different countries. Like the first one, he was in uh the horseman. He was in what I say? You told me London. Yeah, London. London. The other one was in Russia. Bro, like uncle, bro, on God, like bro, I'm not lying. Really, I'm really face to face with the devil, bro. I died twice. Who was that? Gigi, like I died yeah. twice. I died yeah. twice, bro. I'm in hell. And I and I seen heaven. Heaven, heaven and hell, like it's it's no up and down, bro. It's <laughs> uh, it's all up, literally. It's all up. Ooh. Wow. And then once you walk and, and and once you go into hell, bro, it's a long road and it's one and then the end of the road, it's a gate, it's a big gate and it closed. Like I'm not lying, bro. Like I seen the devil, me and him, like he literally ran me in my sleep. Like the devil really had me, bro. Like, I, like the devil really had me. Well, he thought you did. Well, yeah, he, he thought he did. You know, and, and you know, the Lord told you it wasn't your time yet. And he, and then, if it, I'm telling, if it wasn't for God, bro, I would have died. I would have been dead. Yeah. It would have been so many rest in peace on my on my timeline. If it wasn't with God telling me it wasn't my time, I would have been dead. Like the stuff, the stuff I seen, bro. Like. This stuff, this stuff, this stuff I seen, bro, it's gonna traumatize me for life, bro. I don't think it'll traumatize you. I think it'll be a repeated testimony for the people that you come in contact with. Uh, I think that was just an experience for you. I believe that's what it was. And that, that hurt so many people, bro. Like my little brother, like I'm looking at my little brother as my body, it, when my soul was out of my body, like I can see people surrounding me, like. Oh, yeah, tell them about the uh, four horses. That's you don't no want to tell them that? That's no okay. Story. Like, bro, I seen everything, bro. Like, this stuff is for real. Yeah. Like, man, bro, I'm I'm going th- through it bad right now. This is not me. This is not me. I mean, well, you, I believe you're okay now. I think you just got to get past the uh, the experience that, that you had. Because that spirit is no longer on on you anymore that caused you uh to be in the situation that you was in. Bro, I promise if my words was better, y'all, I promise I would explain it way better. Like Yeah. I think bro. so, but it's a blessing that you're still here. Yeah, it's a blessing that I'm still alive. And know, I thank every, and I thank everybody that was checking up on me while I was in the hospital. The stuff I seen was crazy, y'all. But all I'm finna say is like, just get right with God, bro. Please, do. please, because it's. And if you don't know where to start, I say the New Testament because uh, start at the Book of Matthew, and you'll get to know Jesus, why he really came, and what he really did. And the stuff that um, like, and then again, like I knew something was wrong with me because the stuff that I was going through. Like the stuff, what I was doing out here, like 
I could have lost my life so many times. Like I could have lost my life so many times, bro. And I was not finna be another victim, bro. Like I had, I'm real deal, I'm real deal in the hospital fighting for my life. I'm stuck on heart monitors. But all I'm saying is, bro, heaven and hell is for real. Heaven and hell is for real. I'm not the same no more. And, I and honestly, I don't think I'll ever be the same no more. Man, it's crazy, man. I died twice. Like, y'all don't know the feeling. I died twice. I'm scaring my little brother. My little Who brother looking me in my eye crying. Jean Milbrook. And who well, is you it? know, it ain't up to it ain't up to people who it, it ain't up to people to laugh. Like this ain't no joke, bro. Well, I mean, like if you gonna get on my live and play, bro, you need to exit. Like this ain't no joke. No. Nigga, I'm really in the hospital to fight for my life. I'd have had six seizures. I mean, you get like that young lady said, right? Who is this? This Michael Sweeney. Your testimony. It, it, see, you have to not be so. Um, hold on. He need to go home. Oh, he didn't say anything. I was wondering that too, because I may need to run home, so I don't know. They um the uh, the neurologist said that he was okay with him going home. Okay. He's gonna keep him on the Keppra. Okay.